Hey guys, how are you? Mr. Football here. And do I have a treat for you today? As you can see, we are now playing Football Manager Mobile 2023. Oh yes, that big, massive upgrade. Right? So, we are, I'm going through this for the first time. So, you're going through it for the first time with me also. Um, we're going to explore the features. And this, uh, this crab is as a first look at Football Manager 2023 Mobile. Right, so I already set up uh, myself as a manager for Manchester United uh, with very, very little experience. As a matter of fact, I set myself as an interim manager uh, who's basically unknown. You can call me Enric Football. <laughs> right, so let's have a look around and see what is actually going on let's go to the settings first uh, let's see okay so everything here looks fairly uh, normal as it was before let me turn off the sound because i hate that little click 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 business i don't like that um so everything else is good what else do we what do we have here that is new ah oh, display post match training okay okay oh team talks oh Okay, that's good. This is good. I like that. Now, first thing you can see here is Casemiro and two other players. I, I can bet Ronaldo is there somewhere. Oh, he's not. Okay, good. Casemiro and two other players appear to lack confidence in their new boss. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's see. So, manager options. Just want to explore a bit and see what's going on. Head of Youth Development, Reserve Manager, Chief Scout. Okay, rec recommend mentorship partnerships. Ah, uh, no, I don't want that. Well, assistance. Yes, assistant manager. Assign uh, squad numbers. No, I'll take care of that. Uh, friendly, I'll take care of that. Mm. Um, offers Man United players for loan. Uh, I would say age 19 and under. Right. Okay, so that's good. That's a good setup right there. Let me see what else I need to do from this side. Okay, so we're good. Game status. Career Man United Enhanced Engine 13 plus minutes and casual player. Alright, that's good. So let's get into the. Well, before I get there, let me see what else is there. Okay, that's the regular stuff there. Search, scouts, results, player search, or this staff search. Jobs, transfers, clubs, agency. Okay, all is well there. Alright, let's get. Messages, all is good there. Uh, Mitchell van de Graag has welcomed you to the club by compiling a report of the first team squad at Manchester United. In addition to an overall team report, they have also compiled comprehensive reports on each member of the squad. They are hopeful the team should be able to meet their expectations next season. Let's view that report. So, our squad is highly ambitious. Okay, very good, very professional group of players. Team possesses good pace. We have a highly energetic group of players. Okay, that's a whole lot of good stuff. In terms of the negative, the team lacks in physicality. Really? With Casemiro in there? Come on, stop that. Huh. Uh, the team lacks the ability to spot incisive passes. Okay, we'll fix that. Team tends to make wrong decisions at key moments. Fix that also. Lacking depth in goalkeeper position and our training facilities are below the required standard. Alright, so we have a lot of work on our hands. So we need physicality, we need incisive passes, and we need good decision makers. Okay. This is our suggested 11, as you can see. I don't know why they have one beside that right back. I don't know how that happened, but. I'm sure that should be something that should be something that we should be able to fix. Mm, right. 
so okay squad depth as we say we have a uh, goalkeeper to here but we need under for cover um, Rashford is the best on the left Casemiro is the best at DMC Fernandez is the best there so we need a better we need to need a striker we need a right attacking midfielder and maybe a a backup maybe a uh, white ring back and a goalkeeper to fill out the squad a little bit. Dynamics, let's see. Professionalism is good to work with. Mm, talent is valued more highly than work ethic within the squad. Yeah, that's going to change. Okay. So the effects of this is improve professionalism, improve determination, improve resiliency, but reduce press efficiency during matches. Okay, so we're not going to be pressing much. All right. Okay. Development hub. Oh, the first I'm seeing this. Okay, you surprised me. So there's no. There's probably no news related to squad development. Training performance is good. Only one poor. Who's the poor one now? I like this. I like this screen now because when a player is not doing well, I can actually go in and speak to that player, talk, train level, criticize, and get that bastard working harder. Okay. See. Okay, I love this now. I love this now. Who's this player? Okay, these are these are all um, these are all youth players. Okay, I like that. All right, so we have medical center as before. Let me see my staff. Okay, Steve Brown, Jose Mayora. Uh, Guzman. Okay. All right. So let's get into the nitty gritty stuff. Let's go to tactics. All right. This is the current formation. Uh, four, two, three, one. We're gonna have to fix that actually. Um, and how we do that? I want to see certain qualities in certain players. Let me see Ericsson and what he brings to the team. Creativity, good. Decisions, yeah, good. Teamwork is good, technique is good, passing, crossing is good. Okay, so that's it's a good option. Uh, Casemiro is there, Cristiano Ronaldo on the decline, but can be used for now. Uh, where am I, where am I going? Come on. Uh, let's see, Anthony, what are his qualities? Oh, that's that's not good. My God, what have you done to Anthony? Oh my! Rashford, probably our star player. Oh, a lot of development has to take place here. Alassia, yeah, lots of development has to take place here. Ah, one Bissaka. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of work on our hands. We have a whole lot of work on our hands. <sighs> McTominay, let's see what he's up to. Alright, so here's um we have Brandon Williams. Okay, Arusha, uh, Harry Maguire, Maguire, not bad. Bruno Fernandez has to play. Have the handle gun not through. Oh, he has a lot of work to do. There's a whole lot of work to do. Axel Ponzebe. Work to do. Zidane Iqbal. I, I, I did not realize that their squad was so poor. Oh my god. It is so, so poor. What am I going to do with this? Holy shit! 
Uh, let me go and see uh, what's in the transfer window because I think we need some help before I even. Let me see what the finances are looking like. Uh, transfer budget 39 million. Alright, let's go look in the transfer window for a bit and see what we can see. Because I think what we need on. Um, we don't need a lot. We are going to need a whole lot to get this team to where we need it to be. The day hand Kulasevsky. So good attacking player. Alright, so what I will need is players in what I need is a deep line playmaker. And Ericsson has the legs to do that. Uh, I will need some players that are quick uh, in the midfield. So what I'm looking for is let's see. DMC I have basically what you would call a roaming playmaker coming forward and I would want him to have to be left footed let's see who we can find for a good price so we have cool miners okay not bad I would still want somebody without to be more pace I don't think he has enough pace Fabian, passing is good, technique is good, and he has a lot of potential in terms of um, getting better. But as I said, the, the his pace is not there. Leadership good. That's basically it. John McGinn, I like John McGinn. He's a box to box midfielder. Hmm. Aggressive movement, positioning, teamwork, technique. That's a, that's a good buy right there. That's a good buy. I would have to consider. Let me put the scout in. Let scout him for now. John McGinn. Uh, Kenneth Taylor. No. Uh, Sam Wu. Nah, not what I'm looking for. Yusuf Mali, Noob, uh, Mark Roca. Mm, passing is okay. Decisions is okay. There is just no pace whatsoever now. I need players who can actually move. Not O'Reilly. No. And hello, Stiller. No. Alright, so. I have one player that I can see there. Um, <coughs> see if I can get a deep end playmaker then. Someone to play alongside. Uh, someone to play alongside Casemiro. Mm. So we have Martinez. Obviously, you know he play already. Uh, Illich. develop him. Dribbling is good. Technique is good. Teamwork can be developed on. Um, do I want to take that risk more for someone this young? Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. Fine kick. Uh, good teamwork. Jairo mm. Rigi while no Adrian Fine, nope. Alright. I'm gonna customize this a bit. Reset. What I need um, is, first of all, someone who has, uh, how would you say, we need some creativity and we need um, some tenacity and speed. So let's see, pace. 
80. Let's see who we can find. Let's just find the players we have who have some pace. If I can find somebody in midfield who has that, that would be excellent. So Musa Diabe. Ooh. Now we're talking. So he's a left uh, winger. Um, could add some competition up top. That's an option. Dan James. What? Daniel James, what are you not saying to me? Crossing is excellent, dribbling is good, movement, teamwork. Uh, I'm not going to buy Dan James now, come on. Mm, Anthony Ilanga, have him already. Jeremy Fingpong. Okay, that's good. Uh, Traore, hell no. Mm, Fantasy Pong. Inverted winger, no thank you. Manuel Dennis. Okay, nope. Rabbi Motunda. Nope. Alright, so <coughs> that's not gonna work either. Alright, so let's see if we can find a midfield center. What I'm trying to do is find someone um that can what would you say now? Find somebody who can balance us. The midfield. Casemiro is right footed. I want him on the right side and I want a playmaker on the left. Who will bring um some good bring some very very good uh, balance to the team. Alright, so as you keep I keep seeing Coop Miners coming up. So that's a good sign. Uh, who's this? Nicola Moro. Seven bad, nope. Ivan each. Um, I don't know. What is it worth the investment for Illich? Is it worth it? Hmm. Bad toll. Um. Teamwork is good. Hmm. I don't know. Not yet. He has huge potential. <sighs> Jesus. Um, I can't see that, but not yet. Uh, Lewis Hogg. Nope. Merlin Rowe. Deep playing playmaker. Passing is okay. Aerial good. Aggression okay. Teamwork okay. Mm, again. Right footed. That would be a problem. Sergio Alvarez. Leadership. Okay. Uh, teamwork is okay. We're still there. I just don't find any midfielders who have any pace whatsoever. Interest only. Let's check it again. So I might get, have to get a uh, coup cool minus as a roaming playmaker with the left foot. So he doesn't have all of the pace, but he would be a good, uh, a good, how do you say, a good competition for, uh, a good competition for Ericsson in the middle of the field. Let's see if we can make a decent offer for him. He's not near the end of his contract. Oh, damn. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, 20, 22. Oh, yeah, you've got to be. You've got to be joking. Let's see. Uh, 30. We can't get him for 30. Let me just. No, nah, they're not going to sell him. Alright, so. That is going to be a little bit of a trouble. <coughs> Tactics. Alright, let's work on this first. And then we can uh, break our way out of it. Mm. Now, I think the formation we might have to start with is a 4 1 2 1 2 uh, to get the best out of what we have currently. 
think we're short on strikers also. So what I will have to do is play a team that has uh, a good amount of attacking impetus um, as well as um, good creation but it won't be a high pressing team so we're gonna have to get creative get ingenious in this one Christian Ronaldo will be a poacher uh, Christian Eriksen as you know advanced playmaker Casemiro I could play Casemiro in his preferred role McTominay central midfielder Casemiro ball winner at the bottom of uh, the base of the midfield and then you would have competition between or you could use uh, Ericsson at the base as a running playmaker and then have Casemiro as a ball winner and McTominay um, box to box either way works um, I know it can work actually so we have Martinez and Varan, two ball playing defenders. And um, Malasia, uh, we'll start with Dalo at the right back. Because I'm just more comfortable with Dalo, generally speaking. Um, and on the left wing, we need to start developing Sancho to play on the right. Um, Bruno Fernandes where he belongs, advanced playmaker. And then Casemiro can be a ball winner. So we have a good setup in the midfield. We have a box to box midfielder, advanced playmaker, and uh, Bruno Fernandes. And Casemiro to win the ball down deep. This will be our setup for now until we can get, uh, can get some more. Uh, Ronaldo, I will say he's a poacher, so he will stay on the last line. And we have to, we're gonna have to build a team that is basically a counter attacking team because we can't press. So we're gonna play narrow, high tempo, expressive defense, balance as own half, normal offside trap. No, that's good. Um, we're gonna have to look for early crosses. Uh, one of the defense um, passing style mixed mixed uh, and short distribution from the goalkeeper all right mm. I think we should we need to put the passing focus more central that's where our best players are so that is our setup for now um, so Ericsson can always come in. For Fernandez, if we need some more attacking intent. And just see Martial is there also. Alright, so Martial can always play up top. Uh, who else do we have down here? And Van der Peek. I want to develop Van der Peek into something uh, more than he currently is. So I put him here for one Bissaka. And that's it. That's our setup for now. Right. with what we have in front of us uh, I want to see if we can get a friendly under the belt just to see what it looks like uh, alright so captain C this is Harry Maguire captain and Bruno Fernandes let's see I think we can shake that up a bit uh, so Bruno Cristiano alright so we're going to need we're going to need some strength in this squad Alright, so I am going to put Cristiano as captain. Alright, so Cristiano Ronaldo, where is he? Cristiano Ronaldo is my captain. Bruno Fernandes is my vice captain. Alright, and that is all that needs to be said. There's nothing that needs to be argued here. Yes, that is good. Hmm. 
All right, so to give you a chance to observe your current squad, uh, Mitchell Van der Graaf arranged some friendlies. Next friend will be against Sheffield Wednesday tomorrow. All right, so come and you review your, your line of fans of 44. I'm okay with this setup. Christian Ronaldo is pleased to be club captain. Eriksson and Eden others are fine. That's what I want, right? So I have galvanized the entire team behind the veteran Ronaldo. I have to use him good and see what I can get out of the team. Come on, just see what we can do against Sheffield with this current setup. So far, I'm loving the color, the contrast. It, it, it just feels a bit not as puffy, but it, it's just it's just neutral. It's just right. No overdone colors, blasting at you. Right. What I don't like though is that the game tends to take a while to load. I think that's probably just a, a initial bug. Nothing to, to cry about or jump about and make a fuss about as yet. It's the first iteration of the game, so we're going to have some lag here and there. Uh, but it is something to consider. An article analyzing the upcoming Premier Division has indicated that attacking midfielder Bruno Fernandes is key to Manchester United having a successful season. Oh, certainly. Yes, he can still improve. I don't think we take that lightly. But <laughs> all right, so John McGinn would be a good signing. Uh, good endurance team player, very really injured. Hmm. I want. I'm going to get uh, McGinn in. I am going to get him in. I'm not even going to wait. I am going to get him in. If I can get it for sixteen million. Just terms. Twenty eight. Twenty two. Ah, they're running a hard bargain here. Twenty four. Twenty five million. Come on. Uh, they're not going through. Well, I might get him cheaper because I'm sure John McGinn is going to kick up some shit. But not. Uh, see? The player was keen to go on the record uh, of his strong interest in moving and he said to be bitterly disappointed. Alright, boy, push for a transfer. Come on. Push for a transfer. Reminding that the contact is an acceptable part of football and contact alone doesn't mean there's a foul. Okay, good. Alright, so here's our first match. And we're going in the deep end. Let's see how we perform. Ooh. Okay. She's new. Team talk. Oh hell no, demand it. We're not gonna play around here, come on. Be motivated my ass. You need to get yourself up. Get yourself up. Casimiro Pompos, Bruno's fired up. Anton, look at these cowards. Let me see your faces. Okay. Alright, so I like this setup. This looks nice. This looks nice. Go to the match. Okay. Aguaya. Ooh. Right, so first what I have to do is set up. Um uh, what I want to do is to set up the, the game engine. So highlight speed, the time speed fast, right? Da 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 timeline um, right ball replay speed a little bit faster than this, yeah. Highlight speed is pretty much the same. Yeah. All right, 
Alright, so this should be good for us. Alright, let's go. Alright, a corner. Oh, my last year with a goal. Brilliant. Alright, so the highlights. Let me turn the highlights. Um, let's slow it down a little bit to reach the speed. Highlight speed. Uh, right, so highlight speed should be there. Replay speed there. All right. Malasia bang goal. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, Fernandez, Ronaldo. Ooh, Rashford, brilliant. Okay, that's good. That is good so far. Straight away from kickoff, basically, when other turns and shoots, and then Rashford takes it in. Okay, we'll have five shots already, four on target. I uh, can't complain. I like the setup, I like the window now. It seems much more professional than the last uh, iteration of Football Manager. I love the colors more. As I say, it's not as overbearing as the last setup. Uh, Bruno Fernandes with a free kick. Casemiro, Rashford, Anthony. Oh, Anthony missed. Can't have Anthony shooting his right foot. That is, that is bound to create problems. Right, McTominay, Anthony, cross. Oh, goal. Bruno Fernandes. Brilliant. What I can tell you so far is that the midfield setup is quite uh, decent. In this game, anyway, having McTominay as a box to box and having Casemiro as sit deep, protecting the back four. So far, nine shots, six on target, only in the first half. That's a good first half. You can't complain about that. Alright, so get the team tower there. Team talk of beats. Alright, good. Um, tactics should remain as they are. We're playing well. Well, McTominay is doing his stuff. The entire back line is playing well. I can't complain. I cannot complain. So continue. Casemiro completed more passes than anybody else. So he's doing his job perfectly. Winning the ball back and then just playing the simple passes forward. So far I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing here. Anthony, Ronaldo. Okay. Anthony again. Good pass. Ooh. Varane, Casemiro, Anthony, McTominay, Anthony, Fernandez, foul. Um, what I could do also is to bring a, a certain uh, Ericsson into the free. Let him get a few minutes just to see what, what his old input to us would be like. So 11 shots, 6 on target, that's not bad. Uh, so for this, now you take off Fernandez for Ericsson, Rashford for Sancho, and uh, McTominay for Van der Beek. And Ronaldo for Martial. Alright. Let's see how we progress from here. So Dalo takes a throw, Casemiro has it. Uh, Martial. But also when he came from outside position there, but I guess not. Uh, there here comes and sweeps. Dalo, Anthony. And 
Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday has had a better position than us, but um, can't complain much. We were playing a counter attack tactic. Uh, that's it. So we scored a nice three goals uh, versus Sheffield Wednesday. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. A good morale booster for the guys. So I'm sure they'll be happy. As you can see, my last year was very good. Anthony was okay. Bruno Fernandes was okay. Marcus Rashford was very good. Excellent stuff. So I'm, I'm pleased with what I see there. Very, very pleased. Uh, let's see what the report says. Defense be in the air too frequently. And striker didn't test opposition keeper enough. Um, the time tackles well. Passed all well. And considered few clear cut chances but we were too poor in the air um, and the striker didn't test the key, their keeper enough so there's a few things to take into consideration as we go forward um, I don't want to go too long with this one guys as I say it's just a first look at football manager 2023 mobile um, I'll still be doing 2022 videos as well but you will be seeing more from 2023 going forward um, as I said this is just a first look I will see you guys in the next one. So make sure you come and join me. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. As it came, as a notification came on my phone, I went and I downloaded it at the same time, paid for it, and started it and brought you guys along with it. So we both saw this setup for the first time. Um, I had no idea that the United team that we had was so poor in terms of ability. But I'm going to bring the best out of this squad. Don't worry. And we'll be doing it together on a journey. Together. Alright, so that's it for me for this one guys, I'll see you soon, take care.